Now let's talk about the basic AllSport setup. During pregame, the AllSport operator will turn on power to the AllSport prior to the game time. Use the rocker switch on the back of the console to turn it on. Then follow the LCD screens. The console performs a self-test when it's powered on. During the self-test, a message displays a version of the standard software loaded in the console. V equals version number and revision number. ED equals standard software number. When the self-test completes, a prompt displays the code number for the last game played. This is useful when power to the console is lost during a game. Press enter or yes to resume the last game stored in memory. The console is now ready for game operation. Press no to start a new game or change to a different sport. The console will prompt for a new code number. The select code prompt allows users to accept the last code selected, shown on the second line, or enter a new code. To accept the code shown, press enter or yes. To select a new sport, get the code number from the sport insert or the section of the manual for that sport. Use the number keys to enter the new four digit code, then press enter. If a new code is selected, the radio option is installed. The console prompts for a broadcast group and channel. When resume game is used, the last group and channel selection is used. Press enter to accept the group and channel number or press clear and enter a new group and channel number. Refer to section 2-4 and the AllSport 5000 manual for additional details on setting radio channels. When operating the AllSport, there are standard keys you will find used between the various sports. We are going to review some of those now. Start is used to start the main clock. The green LED on the start key is on while the main clock is running. Stop is used to stop the main clock. The green LED on the start key is off while the main clock is stopped. The enter or yes key has two functions. Completes an action. As a reminder to press this key, an asterisk appears in the LCD. It also serves as yes for input prompts with a Y. The clear or no key has two functions clears the LCD of numeric information, or secondly, it serves as a no for input prompts with an N. The edit key allows the user to select which field on the scoreboard to be edited, such as team score. After pressing the edit key, press one of the keys for the desired field on the scoreboard. Then simply enter the new value to display and press enter to accept. The menu key allows the user to select from a list of options specific for each sport. The up and down arrow keys scroll through the menu list. The left and right arrow keys enter and exit submenu lists for a specific menu item. Pressing a key other than yes, no, the arrow keys, or other allowed keys exits the menu function.